There is a profound symmetry in our universe between matter and antimatter, with 100% energy exchange. Because the universe is never at absolute zero, this is a continuous process of symmetry forming and breaking. Light is continuously interacting with the atoms of the periodic table, with the continuous annihilation of antimatter. This process forms a mirror image of our universe that is called CPT symmetry, with the C standing for the reversal of charge and the P standing for parity or mirror symmetry. The T stands for time reversal. The unity of this process can be seen. If we reverse just one or even a pair, the symmetry is broken we have to reverse all three, charge, parity and time, to maintain this symmetry. This profound symmetry is continuously maintained in our universe, with the reflection in time and the reflection in charge making up one of the most powerful underlying principles in physics. In this theory, CPT symmetry represents part of a geometrical process that forms what we see and feel as the passage of time. In such a theory, the universe is a continuum with the emission of a particle being exactly equivalent to the absorption of its antiparticle counterpart. The absorption and annihilation of the antiparticle represents the past at the smallest scale of the process and the emission of a particle represents the future, with the creation of uncertainty and probability. If the future is based on the past as a process of energy exchange, that forms cause and effect in our everyday life, then at the smallest scale of the process there would be a profound symmetry, and this is what CPT symmetry represents. Scientists have proposed that antiparticles be viewed as particles travelling backwards in time. But would it not be more logical to say that particles are travelling forwards in time, and that the future is unfolding photon by photon, with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment? The great paradox of wave-particle duality can be explained in this theory Light and matter, in the form of electrons, are waves and only have particle characteristics when they interact relative to the atoms of the periodic table. The future is unfolding relative to the atoms of the periodic table, and therefore relative to our own actions. The dynamics and structure of this process can be supported by how and where the CPT symmetry is broken. There is no CPT symmetry within the atoms that is governed by the weak force. The weak interaction is the only fundamental interaction that breaks CPT symmetry, and there is also no arrow of time for the individual elementary particles within the atoms. This would be totally logical if time is formed by photons interacting with the electron clouds of probability that surround the atoms. CPT symmetry is also broken by the second law of thermodynamics with a continuous increase in statistical entropy or disorganization. One of the great puzzles with the second law of thermodynamics is why the past has such low entropy or high organization. But in this theory it is logical because statistical entropy or disorganization is formed by a process of symmetry forming and breaking. If we take photon energy cascading down from the Sun, each photon oscillation will only occur once, forming greater degrees of freedom for entropy or disorganization. Therefore, the further we look back in time, the less photon oscillations will have occurred, and the lower the entropy. This will be seen as greater organization or symmetry. This theory can also explain where the potential comes from 
for the organization and structure that we have within the universe. Because this is a process of symmetry forming and breaking, there is always the potential for ever greater symmetry formation. This forms the potential for ever greater diversity and complexity of cell life, with life forming its own evolutionary path as an integral part of this process. This can be seen with all intelligent life having line symmetry or left and right handedness representing its own timeline as a conserved part of this geometrical process of energy exchange. Intelligent life is the most advanced part of this universal process with the potential for art, poetry, morality and love with creation in the hand and eye of the beholder.